friction is called necessary evil there is enough reasons for that can you walk on smooth icy surface no you need friction to walk icy surface is very smooth means very little friction your normal shoes wouldn't get enough grip on a icy surface we can slide on smooth surface as there is very less friction you can't even write without friction ball pens have a ball at the tip of nib the ball grips the paper and rotates it takes ink from the refill and rub it on the paper you can't write on glass because there is very little friction and the ball will slide you can write on rough paper with pencil because rough surface rubs off some carbon particles you need friction for driving too tires must get good grip of road surface snowy road is slippery as friction reduces because of snow particles and water so you can't walk ride or drive without friction if you have a bicycle just notice the brake pad on wheel when you apply brake the rough pads start pressing against the wheel rim and wheels come to stop because of heavy friction when you rub the stick against the matchbox friction causes the heat necessary to light the stick athletes rub chalk powder it absorbs the sweat and increases the friction for better grip then how is friction evil you can answer it yourself friction often produce unwanted heat and decay machine parts people apply oil grease etc between moving parts to decrease the friction these substances form a very thin layer of and moving parts don't rub against each other directly we call it lubricant we often use oil as lubricant in hinge of door lock etc it reduces the friction between moving parts and door can swing smoothly take care